I'm going to be showing you an immunology experiment. And immunology is referring to the fact that I'm going to be using antibodies and antigens and looking for a chemical reaction. I'm going to be using a test kit. In this test kit I purchased from a company called Staph Orex. The purpose of this test kit is to be able to identify on a petri plate whether the organism is Staphylococcus epidermidis or Staphylococcus aureus. Let's say we've collected a sample from a patient, maybe a wound sample, and we've identified the genus Staphylococcus. We do a gram stain, we can observe gram-positive cocci in clusters. We've done biochemical tests to determine that it's a halophil and it's catalase positive. You'll learn what that means in an upcoming laboratory. So I'd like to know on a plate, is it Staph aureus or Staph epidermidis? I cannot tell that by looking at it under a microscope. But this kit, within a matter of a minute or two, will enable me to do that quickly. Now the test kit comes with latex beads. So these are little chemical polymers and what the company has done is they have attached antibodies to these beads. These antibodies will only recognize Staphylococcus aureus. It is specific for that organism. Why? Because on the surface of the cell wall of that bacterial cell you will find antigens and those antigens will attach to the antibody. So it's specifically looking for Staph aureus. The test kit also provides me with disposable card slides. They come six circles to a slide but I've cut it out with just two circles. In one petri plate, I have Staph epidermidis, and I just so happen to have it growing on a nutrient agar plate. But the other plate is my Staph aureus, and I just so happen to grow it on a plate called a blood agar plate that you'll learn about in an un upcoming lab. So I want to know, let's say this is an unknown patient sample, is it Staph epidermidis or is it Staph aureus? So following the instructions, what I need to do is take my disposable card slide. I'm going to add one drop of well-mixed latex beads into the center of each circle. I could use a toothpick that the test kit comes with, or I'm going to be using a disposable inoculating loop. I'm going to take the loop and run it across the surface of the colony, this is my stiff epidermidis plate, and mix it into the drop. I'm going to use a clean disposable loop and take a sample of the staph aureus culture and mix it into the drop. Then the directions indicate that I want to take the slide and I want to slowly rock it back and forth and in about 20 seconds I should see a positive reaction. A positive reaction is one where we see agglutination or clumping indicating Staph aureus would be on the slide. If there is no clumping or agglutination it means it's not Staph aureus and in this case, it would be Staph epidermidis. It's always best to view these slides with a light nearby. Now, as I take a look, I can clearly see the slide where I put the Staph aureus, I see clear-cut agglutination, indicating Staph aureus, and that's what was on this plate. The other circle, completely smooth, and that was where I put my Staph epidermidis. So using antigens and antibodies, we can quickly differentiate between two species on a petri plate.